it's time for another image from you guys and gals. And this week's image has come in from Des Gardner. Hi, Des. Wow, what an image. As soon as I opened it, I felt cold. The muted tones of the greens and the whites of the ice and the frost on the, uh, the stems of the grass in the foreground is absolutely wonderful. It really gives atmosphere. It's, it is such an atmospheric image and it would be really, really nice printed that does. That's wonderful. Now you took it in Ireland. You didn't tell me where. At least I don't think you did. Um, you go out to visit your family a couple of times a year and unfortunately your granddaughter won't let you take images. But what you need to do is show her that one and say, look, this is what I can do when you let me. Because that is a really, really beautiful image, Des. Absolutely stunning. Thank you so much for sending it in. That feeling you get, the butterflies in your stomach, the smile that's spreading over your face, and the anticipation that's building as you're heading towards the location and you think the sun's shining, it's a bit breezy, but the sky is blue and I really don't care what it's like. I just want to be there. And I'm here. Right, well, this is somewhere I've wanted to come for a long time. And every time I've come, there's either been too much water, not enough water, or I'm all in the sky. I'm still not convinced there is a bit of a breeze, but not quite sufficient to move the clouds. And there's a horrible blanket of cloud here. And then you've got blue sky. It is absurdly muddy. We're out actually on the seabed and there is quicksand and all sorts. So I'm not going to be able to do walk-ins and walk-outs and lots of B-roll. I've got all on keeping myself upright and holding the camera upright. Well, I've just lined up a first composition this little boat over on the right hand side of the image so I've got lots of negative space over to the left there's some beautiful light hitting the mast at the moment because the sun's coming in from over here I've managed there's a blue boy you'll, you'll probably see I can't see where I'm pointing because I'm being blinded that'll get cloned out I don't think this orange boy that's around here somewhere is actually in the shot I quite like that to start off with and I've got my waders on. I don't know if you can see that, my funky waders, because it is muddy and you stand still for 30 seconds and you sink. Now I'm just trying this image. I've got the 10 stop, the polarizer and the 0.6 hard grad. I might take the polarizer off. I'm not convinced it's the right move to have it on, but we'll see. Now we've had some tremendous rain earlier on, so I'm hoping that bodes well for a good sky tonight. Fingers crossed. But I don't care if it isn't. It's just really nice to finally be here and be able to get some images. This appears to be one of those really irritating places. But irritating in a good way. There is an awful, awful lot to look at. It's really busy. There's boats all over the place. There's also a, a nissi meet going on here tonight. So there's bodies all over the place as well. I'm struggling to find a composition I'm completely happy with. I'm also struggling to find any light to talk to you. There we go. But I'm giving it a bash. I've currently gone, ooh, where's the tripod? Really, really low down with the camera to shoot this boat using the anchor chain as a bit of a lead-in line. I've still got the six stop, sorry, the 10 stop and the 0.6 hard grad on. I'm getting about 25, 30 seconds. I just need some people to move. <laughs> but I'm being good. We're quite like this. The sun is currently hiding behind a bank of cloud and we're still keep, if this lot lights up tonight, that is going to be phenomenal. It really is. Well, now the sun's gone in a bit, I can have a bit more of a chat to you. It is 
not as easy a place as you might think. And the guy who's running the Nissi meet here tonight, whose name promptly escapes me, um, he lives on the doorstep. So he can come down at the drop of a hat, which must be fabulous, because you get to know where to look, what to do, where's the best compositions, whether to be high, whether to be low. I'm really, really wishing I had an articulated screen. I was just shooting the image, I pop up either just now or in a second, almost flat on the floor, and I just could not see the composition at all. So it was by guess and by God, and I hope it turned out something like. But well, I'll give you a little bit of a show round. Now I'm doing a handheld walk round because I can't put my camera bag down anywhere that it's not going to get covered in mud. So I can't get my gimbal out. So excuse it being a little bit jittery. But you have to work with what you've got. And as I said earlier, if this sky lights up, it'll get reflected in the wet sand, which will really... Oh, it'll add a completely new dimension. It's also been quite difficult here tonight because there are probably 20 other people and trying not to get in each other's shots is a fairly good trick. And we're still a good hour off any sunset colour. But I think sunset's about quarter to nine. Uh, it's 20 to eight. So we might start getting some colour in the next half an hour. Fingers crossed. The image that I'm going for now is again, it's a very simple composition. I've just got the boat. There's some beautiful side light coming in on it, which is giving it dimension. I've got down fairly low, so I'm losing most of the cranes. There's still a bit of cloning that's going to have to be done, some boys. I've got a very bizarre mix of filters on. I've got a 10 stop, 0.6 hard grad pulled down for the horizon and then a 0.6 soft grad pulled all the way down just to extend the exposure time because the cloud is just not moving. The last one I did I got 274 seconds with a little bit of motion in the sky which is what I'm after and I'm shooting at f14. The water is so still. What we need now is the colour to start coming through. The cloud is breaking up a little bit It, it's setting up really well for a good sunset and because the sun is coming in directly behind me I'm just having to shield the eyepiece and the side of the filters to stop any possible light leak. I don't think I've got any on the previous images. You do have to keep moving. It's not so bad when you're kneel kneeling down and hence I've got the waders on. And, but if you stand up for too long in one place you end up going down to your knees and it's really goopy and difficult to get out of. I'm just going to shield everything whilst I get the remote trigger out. See what we've got. Yeah, happy with that. 218 seconds this time because the light has been constant. The 274 seconds when I started the exposure, the sun was behind the clouds, so I took a little bit of a longer exposure. This time, the light was out as I started the exposure. Yeah, that works really nicely, that. So all we need now is some glorious sunset colour. Oh, and my knee not to get, my foot not to get stuck in the mud. Oh. Well, I've spent my time here trying to find the shot for me. I think I finally got it. I wanted a clean background. I didn't want any of the cranes that you can see in the background. I wanted a gorgeous reflection and I wanted some beautiful light. So as you can see, because the side of my face is lighting up, the sun is just peeking out from behind a cloud. I've got a solitary boat, there's no people around, and I have the nice clean background that I was after. There is very, very little movement in the sky very little movement. So to try and get a bit of movement I've moved up to f16. So I'm trying to extend the exposure so I've gone to f16, I have the 10 stop, I have a 0.6 hard grad and then I have a 0.6 grad 
pulled all the way down in the absence of having anything like a 0.3 neutral density. And I'm just going to let that cook. I've swapped out earlier on to the 10 to 20 lens because I want an expanse. I don't just want a close up of the boat. I want it to be a minimal image, I suppose. It is meaning I'm having to get slightly closer than maybe I would with the 17 to 55 on, but I'm not putting my bag down to swap lenses again. So the 10 to 20 is staying. So yes, this is going to be my composition. Oh, well, that's a, a wrap for this evening. We got some nice color. I stuck, you can see, shooting straight into the sun, we've got a lovely band of orange coming up. Well, we've got some beautiful clouds with just a little bit of nice light over the boat that you can just see over there. And I stuck with that composition. The sky is kind of lighting up over here, but it means that I'm shooting into the sun, which I'm really not keen on. I'm, I don't like silhouettes and I'm struggling to find a composition that I'm happy with. So I'm not going to be greedy. I'm quite happy with the images I've got. So that's it. Now it's time at um, 10 past nine to find my way back across all these muddy flats and go and have some tea. Thanks for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it's been a bit different to normal with very little B-roll and showing you what's going on. But the mud is, is seriously quicksand and I didn't want to risk getting stuck. I didn't want to risk dropping anything. But I hope you enjoyed it. See you again.